A therapeutic farm in the Cowichan Valley is changing lives and strengthening the community. V. Cooper introduces us to Providence Farm. I was diagnosed in 1980, uh, bipolar affective disorder with schizophrenic tendencies. Life was a struggle for a young Bill Baker until he moved to a psychiatric group home in the Cowichan Valley in 1983. And the first day I was there was a Thursday and the following day was the Friday program here at the farm. So right now the very popular things are cherry tomato baskets. That day, Bill began horticultural therapy at Providence Farm. It was the vision of the then director of mental health in Duncan that people with mental health issues and disabilities are better served working in the land than they are in a building, in an institution. In 1979, the Sisters of St. Anne gifted this 162 hectare property to the Cowichan Valley. Providence Farm now has 34 full and part-time staff and 130 clients benefiting from their programs. We have a woodworking shop, we have a small engine repair shop, we have a general store, we have a clothing outreach program, we have textiles therapy where you learn to knit or sew or weave, we have art therapy, we have a kitchen program. And the greenhouse. Therapeutic horticulture it played a very big part in my health. In the psychiatric business, there's a thing called the revolving door syndrome. They feel better, they're taking good meds, they feel great, so it's like the common flu, stop taking your meds. And then six months later, you're back on the fourth floor in the psych ward. But not Bill. Give it lots of water. Since that first day in 1983, Bill has volunteered at the farm every Friday. He met his wife here. They now have two children. And since 91, he's been employed by the farm, working in the nursery. It's hard to define miraculous. Um, we have people that would tell you we've saved their lives. You know, whether that's a miracle, what would they have done without Providence Farm, I can't say. But I do know we've impacted thousands of people's lives in a positive way.